Hey guys, okay, so today I am going to be shamefully sharing with you all what may very well be my most ridiculous beauty purchase ever. And, okay, let me just, let me just explain. So, I think in our minds we all have like limits, right, of what is too expensive for certain items. There's like a limit that you'll spend on maybe foundation or a beauty product or a moisturizer or shoes or whatever. <laughs> And this is one of those items that for years I have kind of just, I don't know, like I've always been into, I've always been into trying. It's a mascara, obviously, I don't have my, I'm not done right now because I want to share this with you. I want to try it on with you. So I saw this and being as into mascara as I am, I am one of those people that like I don't try a whole lot of like skincare products. I don't get too adventurous with foundation stuff because I kind of just like stick with what works. Um, like eyeshadows, I feel like I'm not even that excited when new palettes come out because I feel like we've all, I think at this point, like there's kind of everything out there, you know, but for some reason mascaras really freaking excite me. It's my very favorite beauty product of all time. You can, it's, it's just so glamorous. Like I feel like every day, I don't wear foundation. I don't always like do my makeup. I but I can literally just put on moisturizer and put on mascara and I just feel great, you know? And um, it's one of those things that you can't really mess up too much, you know? And I think that there are ones that are really dramatic and there's ones that aren't. So it's just a fun thing to try. So when I see a new one, I'm always really excited to try it. Okay, let me just share. So it's this dang Christian Louboutin mascara. I got sucked in, you guys. I did, okay? I have not had a single urge to try any of their lip products, uh, which they've been out for a while. The lip liner and the lipsticks, I think they have like a new liquid lipstick. They even have now like eyeliner and stuff. And I saw this mascara. Let me put it back in the box just so you can get the full effect. I was like, <sighs> okay, so it comes in this box. Like I said, it's, it's ridiculous, okay? And I didn't know if I wanted to love it or hate it. Do you guys feel like that sometimes? I mean, obviously I bought it. I want to like it. But sometimes you're afraid that if you get hooked on something really expensive, you're just going to be ruined, you know? Like, that's all you're going to want. So, you open it up and it's in this velvet case. This is the heaviest mascara ever. And, I'll be honest with you, I like the packaging. I'm not into all these, like, hot pink and crazy cartoony packaging that a lot of things have. I just, I think this is really nice. So it's kind of like, it's metal. It's really thick. And this one is the, um, what's it called? It's the Lash Amplifying Lacquer in the shade Coal 100. So, it's really nice, okay? It feels really nice, it's very weighty, I mean, not that matters, but I like the way the wand feels. It's got a really nice applicator, very, very similar to the Chanel volume, which is, I would say, probably my favorite high-end mascara. But something that you go through a lot. For me, like, I'm usually on a mascara for like four or five months. I don't have a lot of them opened at the same time. At the most, I like to have maybe two or three. Because once you open them, they really will only last six months. I, it's, I mean, you can still use them beyond that point, but you may get, I mean, but I'm just not gonna like, I'm just not gonna risk it. And it just gets gross. They just don't work the same. But in my recent videos, this has been the product that you guys have been commenting on. Like, what are you wearing? Oh, she's wearing false lashes. And it's a lot different than what I have normally been wearing. So, first and foremost, it is very volumizing. I feel like I'm trying to be careful with it because I'm like doing it in this different mirror and, um, it's one of those that honestly makes your lashes kind of push up and back. You know what I mean? Like those, um, ow. Like those that used to be called like curling or, do you know what I mean? They, it just gives you so much drama. And I didn't want to just like throw this in your face the first time I used it and be like, oh, this is great, you know, because it's friggin', it makes expensive. And I wanted to kind of just show you guys, because it is, I think, it's interesting. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but as I was using it, I didn't have to like, I mean, it's really, really freaking dramatic. I didn't have to like work a lot. Like it, it kind of curls them, like it pushes them back. I don't understand how it does that. I use a ton of mascaras and my lashes are normally, you know, they have a good curl to them but not like this, like this is a little different. Now, I'm not always a two coat mascara person, but wait till you freaking see the second coat. It's insane. And like I said, this isn't even done. Like I'm gonna do another um, another coat. But it was enough of a difference for you guys to notice in videos. You guys see me pretty much every time I do my makeup. But like if I'm gonna do video, like that's when I really, you know, like I'll 
put on extra stuff or I'll do my makeup a little more than usual. So you guys always see my, ma my lashes when they're like the best, I guess. A lot of people noticed a difference when I was wearing this. It's expensive. I mean, it's ridiculous. Do I just want to do this one completely so you can see the difference? I've always told you guys over the years, the CoverGirl Lash Blast, since the time I started my channel, was probably, like, my all-time favorite. It was really dramatic. Now, it wasn't this dramatic. I mean, this is insane. How are mascaras that different? It's literally black paint. Like, I just don't understand how they're that different, but they are. Um, okay, so I would get the Chanel volume and just treat myself every now and then. And then I'd always go back to the Lash Blast, and it was seriously so much better. And so about a year ago, I tried it again, and it was awful. Like, I got the worst tube of it. Like, it wasn't transferring. Like, like this one, you can just tell it's, like, going on so easily. And it's just, like, I'm not having to dip it a lot. It's just, like, I'm honestly having to be really careful with it. I think that's why I'm taking so much time, because it is so dramatic that it will kind of like get on there almost too much. Something I like about it is that you can pile it on and it doesn't look clumpy spidery. You know like when you start piling it on, um, it will start looking like each individual lash is kind of clumpy, like a spider. This doesn't look like that. It just kind of builds and gets thick. And then it doesn't flake or anything. I don't really have an issue with that. It really does stay on. I'm gonna put on my bottom lashes. You have to be really careful. The lower lashes, but it looks really good on those too. So like I said, I have really tried to find a drugstore alternative for you guys. Like I wanted to be the one that came on here and be like, this is $70 guys, but look, this isn't, you know, I found an alternative and I just can't. Like I have told you how I've had an issue with my lash blast. I mean, I am a huge drugstore mascara fan. I'm a huge drugstore fan in general, but I'm just not going to use something that's not as good as something else if I can get something else. And I'm not going to recommend that to you guys and say, oh, this is great. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I have a hard time with some drugstore products. And, I mean, you could buy, like, five or six drugstore things and, and end up at the same price as that, you know, which I have done in the last several months trying to find a good one. And I don't even end up using all of it. I just end up throwing it away. I have tried some really, really horrible ones. And all mascaras don't just magically look good on me because I have good lashes. You saw what they looked like before. I don't have, like, these magic lashes or anything. I do have good ones. But, but I can really tell, I think, what things look like and how different they are. And, and I get it, $70 is expensive for a mascara. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to make a point of telling any of us. We get it. We all get it. I get it. I know it's ridiculous, hence the title of the video. But I just wanted to be honest. I just wanted to just show you guys that, yes, yeah, $70 is ridiculous, but if you want to try it, it's good. And I've been really impressed with it. Do I wish it was at the drugstore? Oh my gosh, if this was available at the drugstore, if this was like a drugstore product that was in the worst packaging, I would be screaming it from the rooftops because it's amazing. But I just can't find anything. Um, and I'm so disappointed about my lash blast because I feel like I actually used to get results like this. Like, but I just, I can't. I have bought so many tubes of that trying it again, and it's just different. I always think, well, maybe I got a bad tube, and I used to never get bad tubes of it. So, I don't know. It's just, it's something's changed. You guys have told me that too. Um, but this is insane. I do feel like it's different. You guys have told me. I thought, I'm gonna, I snuck it in. I was sneaky. I wore it in some videos and you guys actually were like, she's wearing false lashes or what are you wearing? And people commented and said, oh, she's just wearing false lashes today. It's not, it was this. So, but I did want to hold off and like really, you know, but let me tell you guys the ones I have been loving also. These are the only ones that are open right now. Actually, this one is not open. I'm, I'm kind of saving this. So, you guys, obviously, this is the most dramatic mascara I've ever tried. And, you know, over the years, I've showed you guys so many things. It was like a Tarte one, the Tartist, which is really good, too. But, honestly, out of everything, this is by far the most dramatic my lashes have ever looked. Dramatic and good, you know, um, with, a, with a mascara. Okay, so then my second favorite, like just my normal favorite high-end one would be this Chanel, which is again kind of expensive. I mean, the, this one is not even normal, okay? We get it. It's just not even on the same realm. This one I would consider like a normal expensive mascara. I believe it's like $32 and it lasts a long time. These that are, that's another thing. These that are kind of wetter and thicker will last a long time. So it's not like some dry one that's going to like go out in two or three months like for the price. Like heck no. Too Faced Better Than Sex. I have a love hate. I don't want to say hate, but when this stuff is good, it is so, <laughs> it sounds funny, but it's really good. I really, really love this. Sometimes I have gotten a bad tube or two of this one too, but I, I don't know. But this one is just so good. I'm really enjoying this particular tube that I have of it right now. And it's, um, you know, it's got a little brush. But this one is very wet, but it is flood more fluttery looking. Okay. 
Now the Trisha McAvoy, this is the high volume mascara and this is that cool mascara that you can just get off with, with um, with water. You, know, you just pull it right off. And this one is a bit more drier and it's not going to look as dramatic as these, but this is a good like everyday, I don't know, I really wanted to have, I mean obviously a drugstore one to, sh to throw in there, but I just, you know, you guys know I love drugstore things, but I'm not about to show you guys something that sucks. So, um, I've really, but I have really tried and I, I'm a drugstore mascara person. Like I said, I don't want this to come across as like, well the drugstore things aren't as good. Like no, I've, they've been some of my favorites. And then sometimes I think, well, do I not like those by comparison now because I've tried some better things? I don't know because I used to go back and forth between the Chanel and the Lash Blast and I would like the Lash Blast just as much. But like I said, it's just not, it's just not doing it for me anymore. But. I just wanted to come on here and try this on for you guys and um, and let you know my thoughts. And like I said, I'm not really impressed because it's Louboutin. I don't care. I don't really, I think it's funny, honestly, that, that it's even like makeup anyways, that they have a makeup line. But, you know, I do like their um, nail polishes. They are good. I have two of them. And like I don't wear much nail polish, you know, so I could justify having just a few, you know, rather than just like a huge collection. And, um, you know, I'd rather just have like a few really nice ones. Um, but those are actually very good, but I haven't had any desire, like I said, to try any of the other Louboutin stuff, like the lip stuff or anything like that. Uh, but when I saw the mascara, I was just all over it. So try this, you guys, if you want to treat yourself, okay? And if you want a really dramatic mascara. So I will link to everything that I mentioned below. I'll let you guys go. I have another really good video that I'm about to film right now that I'm so excited about. So, um... Look out for the next one. I think you guys are going to love it. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.